Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 1st to the 7th of February 2021. So let's pull your overarching energy or message and see what we have for you for the week Aries. Message for Aries, thank you. Okay, oh nice, we have the page of coins. Okay, message for Aries, please. Message for our lovely Aries, thank you, for the week. What does Aries need to hear the most for the week, please? One card is turned over and I think that's what we're going to go with. So we have watching clouds, lie back, rest and relax. Okay, Aries, what do we have for you? Angel messages, perfect timing, something to do with timing. Okay, interesting cards there. So I'm going to pull three cards, Aries. The first card is issue or challenge you face for the week. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Aries, please? Okay, so we have the King of Wands. Can be Aries, male or female energy. Um, Gemini, it's Leo for me as a reader as well. Uh, but it feels... It feels that could be you. Four of Pentacles. The Hermit. Okay. So can we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Aries? Thank you. What do we have for Aries? <laughs> we have it with the sun. I mean, those are really nice energies. It's interesting that it's in your challenge position. Four of Pentacles, we have you, Aries. Yeah, okay. And the Hermit, we have the Ace of Cups. Justice. Okay. I'm going to clarify this King of Wands. Let's clarify this King of Wands. It feels King, king and Queen of Wands can generally represent a relationship, Aries, and it's fire energy, so it's Somebody who matches you perfectly, uh, has the same outlook, the same goals, the same drive, the same vision. Yeah, I've got, I've got the King of Wands with the Queen of Cups, uh, which feels to do with love, romance, relationships. And let's clarify this sun. Okay. The Hierophant. And one card for the Page of Coins, I think. One card for the Page of Coins, thank you. Or Page of Pentacles. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. Okay, 
So we have the Ace of Swords. Swords can be to do with communication, clarity, breakthroughs in terms of how you're thinking or could be to do with some communication here. Um, it is a card of victory and success and it definitely represents a new bit beginning as does the page of coins which is a card of in this case it feels to do with what you're wanting to manifest it feels there's some kind of clarity that you're being given this week and it feels like on a situation and it feels to do with love, romance, relationships. There is some clarity coming to you. Clarity, light shed on the situation in terms of love, romance, relationships. So it feels very beautiful. So the message is the clarity is coming. It feels in this, it feels in this situation getting answers, finding clarity, communication coming and there's a message of just don't worry, lie back, rest, relax. Um, you know, take it easy because it feels for some of you what you're wanting to manifest. And again, this is the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change, maybe for some of you as well. Um, the timing will be right to manifest it. There could be some breakthrough or breaking the clouds or opportunity that will give you, that will allow some clarity to come to you on the situation. So, you know, this kind of energy of, and it's interesting that I'm getting the breakthrough, which is a mental clarity with clouds as well. You know, clouds in tarot can sometimes represent confusion, not seeing things clearly. Um, so, you know, between these two cards, it's almost kind of like there's a, all of a sudden, there's light, there's the clarity that you need, that you're waiting for. Yeah. So, for some of you, the challenge, it could, you know, this could be with another person because I have the Queen, Queen of Cups over the King of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups can be to do with a person could be a third party situation going on here, Aries. Um, and you know, King of Wands, male or female energy, Queen of Wands, male or female energy, Queen of Cups, male or female energy. They are court cards. But it feels, I mean, we have two queens here. One could be you, one could be another person. It can be the energy of this. So the King of Wands is the go-getter, the driven, the, the visionary, somebody who is very uh, charismatic, magnetic. Again, not dissimilar to your energy, actually, you know, because it is somebody who matches you perfectly. We have the Queen of Cups, which can represent some kind of It can represent some kind of person here and it feels to do with the love situation. So this can be a love three-party situation. The Queen of Cups can also be about love, um, a deeper understanding of the heart, your feelings. It is offers of love as well. So it feels for some of you there's been some deep understanding someone's got in terms of their feelings, um, their emotions. Yeah, it feels in this situation, I mean, she is very much in touch with who, who she is. So either some kind of third party situation going on here, which has been a challenge, a third person in the mix, maybe, Aries. Um, and you know, there's levels to that. It could be somebody just interfering in a relationship, you know, in whatever context, it could be to do with matters of the heart. Um, it just feels like something has caused you some issues. And it definitely feels that because the Hierophant is, it's a card of, yeah, it's interesting. It can be a card of marriage or long-term committed relationships. Um, but it can also be, certainly in the challenge position, which is what I'm picking up a little bit here, is challenging that, something that challenges that. 
So either challenges in love here, you've gone through some challenges in a relationship, or somebody has been has caused a challenge in the relationship, and it feels to do with some long-term committed relationship or marriage. But with the Sun card being in this message here, um, there is definitely an energy. I mean, it, it can, you know, again, the Sun card can be something that's made you feel down, but it, it, there, it generally represents coming through an obstacle, coming through um, the other side of a situation. There is new light, there is healing, there is regeneration, there is restoration here. So even though it feels like you have been challenged in some way in terms of love, romance, relationships, it feels that you're going to come through the other side of it. I mean, the sun is the most positive card of the tarot deck. It's a card of restoration. And it's interesting. Normally you see a child on a horse, but we're seeing two people there. So the opportunity to be restored. And it feels, it feels to get a relationship. It feels for, for me to get some kind of relationship back on track. I'm going to just clarify this justice, Aries, because that's more of what I'm feeling. It feels like somebody, someone or something has caused a challenge in the relationship. So let's just clarify this justice, which is a card of Libra. Queen of Cups is Cancer. We've got Taurus as well here and Virgo. Is that coming out? Okay. Yeah, it's to do with love, romance, relationships. I'm going to pull one more on that one. Yeah, okay. So I've got the Two of Cups there. I mean, it's kind of saying, yeah, <laughs> I've got the Ten of Pentacles at the end. So I understand what that's saying at the end. So here we have Aries. I mean, we have a card of the Four of, of Pentacles. Um, can be about holding on, hold on. Um, and this is where bide your time, rest, relax. The opportunity to manifest something is coming your way. It feels in this energy, and um, this is to do with you, because the Queen of Wands is you, card of Aries, somebody who trusts her intuition on when to act. So it feels for some of you, it definitely feels for some of you, bide your time, hold, it, I mean, this can be about holding on to something. Um, sometimes it can stop you from moving forward, the Four of Pentacles. But for me, this feels very much like just stay in your power, stay in your essence right now. I'm definitely getting that kind of energy of just bide your time because this is a time energy. Um, can be about self-preservation and self-protection, take care of you as well. Uh, but definitely this energy Aries that I'm getting is just bide your time because for some of you, it feels that there is the perfect timing coming your way, some kind of breakthrough, some kind of clarity in terms of what you really want to manifest. And it feels, for me, it feels to do with getting back on track with somebody in terms of love. Because we have the Hermit card, which is to do with healing. Um, it can be a card of finding answers from within on how you take action in your external environment. Now, the Justice card, it can sometimes be about legal situations. But, you know, this is all also about marriage, you know. So whatever resonates with you. Uh, because it's clarified by the lovers and it's clarified by an offer or an opportunity in love. And it feels an opportunity to reconnect. So the Two of Cups can be a card of reconciliation. It can be a card of someone offering you something, a message of love. And again, combined with the lovers, I'm definitely feeling like there is opportunity with something that has been challenging in your relationship may have caused some kind of division here. It feels like there's an opportunity to heal that. Um, and again, with the lover's card, it can be a choice that you make because it definitely feels somebody is going to offer you to reconcile. 
Now, the, the, the justice can be to do with marriage. It can also be to do with legal situations. So again, it feels like the justice card is telling you, you have some decision to make in terms of whether you accept this opportunity, this offer, this invitation, this message of love that somebody is offering you now. It feels like somebody wants to reconcile here. Um, and it feels more like a long-term relationship, I have to say. But it feels like there's some kind of opportunity to come through the other side of a relationship if you want it. So the Ace of Cups is a card of when you make the decision or choice, there is a new beginning in terms of love. Now, this can be self-love. This can be also restoring feelings that you have for somebody else. So new beginnings, new phases in terms of love, romance, relationships. Um, absolutely beautiful energy. You can see that cup is overflowing. So just finding the happiness, the bond, um, the connection, the attraction, you know, all of those kind of things once more. Definitely an energy if you're choosing to start up the relationship again, it feels like, you know, that is absolutely beautiful. This is self-love. If you're choosing to get legal situations involved, then the message is that you'll be okay. You will heal and you will find happiness in your own self, in your own love, in your own right, taking care of you, you know? So whichever decision that you make, it feels like there is some clarity coming to you this week. And it feels that there you will have some kind of opportunity to get back on track. Now, the opportunity is there. And again, the offer of the opportunity, just looking at this card here, is to reestablish a long-term committed relationship. Somebody, the relationship has been challenged, but there is a greater, there is the opportunity to have a greater realization of the value of the relationship, what the relationship means, having gone through some challenge um, and possibly nearly lost it, you know? Um, definitely get that energy of possibly nearly losing a relationship here uh, because it feels like something has challenged the relationship. Again, there's an opportunity to get back on track. Um, some kind of decision that you need to make in love Aries in terms of what this cup of joy means to you. There is definitely an opportunity to re-establish a long-term committed relationship on marriage here. So the message is just definitely an energy of lie back, rest, relax, take care of you, you know, take care of you in every way possible because the clarity will come to you in how you manifest this new beginning. Um, and again, don't worry because things will happen when they're meant to happen, you know? So it feels like it's not something that you can force, which is by your time because it feels for some of you that there will be some break, some break in the clouds, maybe some communication here that will bring clarity to a situation. And it involves the new beginning, the new phase. So I'm gonna pull a final card. Yeah, I mean, you know, the cards are saying similar to what I said. We have Magical Gateway. Again, this feels like new beginning energy. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown. Yeah, this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. And again, this is the decision that you want to make. What you see this being for you. You stepping through that door on your own or you giving something another chance. And we have hidden depths. Something hidden is about to come to light. Yes, I know. We know this, don't we? Because we have the clarity, the breakthrough here. Um, perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. I mean, this can also be a card of truth here. Um, it feels more to do with getting some clarity here, Aries in terms of and all of a sudden everything becoming clear by events that are unfolding and it feels for some of you it will be this week in terms of which way you're going to go you know so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful 
week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.